Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Sessions and Dobsonian Power's channel. Today we will be with the 12-inch Dobsonian Telescope. This one. Over an equatorial platform. <coughs> and it's outside. We have the moon. And the only thing I could uh, do today was to... To watch the moon or Jupiter. <coughs> Mars still too low and there are some clouds, thin clouds. Maybe we can't see them in the All Sky camera. We'll see because I have it connected. And uh, there's another reason for the 12 inch. It's my surgery. After the surgery on, on Thursday, uh, on Tuesday, I may not, uh, I, I will not handle the, the telescope, uh, I can't handle it, and I don't know when I can handle such a, a weight. So, today the 12 inch, to say goodbye to the 12 inch for a while. Uh, I have also, after the surgery and the recovery, I have, I got this 5X Barlow from La Cirta. It's a one and a quarter and it's a tele extender. It's better than a Barlow. I, I prefer to use the, the tele extenders. One characteristic is that it doesn't change the... Um, when you apart the Barlow from the, the eyepiece or the camera, it will increase the magnification, but not with focal extenders. This one and the one that, that I have from Explore Scientific and the PowerMate, of course, I have 4X from Televu. Uh, it's very nice. I want just to um, give a hint for, for what we will going to, to do when I recover from the sur surgery. And it's, uh, I will use this 5X Barlow with a Virtuoso, the 6-inch, uh, I got it, of course, from AstroArt Finland, my sponsor, and uh, it's, uh, it has very nice quality. This, this Barlow from uh, La Certa is a rebranding of uh, Longpern. It's uh, from Taipei, Taiwan, and it has uh, a good quality. It's very nice. I did it, uh, the job with a 6-inch, it worked, so I, I will keep it for me. And we will watch uh, probably Mars through that that Barlow. I want to show you first the the images I post on the community for you to hold on to have an idea. The ones that didn't saw, didn't see. This is Jupiter with bad seeing with this with this uh, six inch Virtuoso telescope, the go to, and this five X Barlow. This small glow that we see is because of the clouds. It, they were uh, thin clouds. It was bad, bad seeing. And this one was the first one I took with a 2X Barlow for you to see the difference. This one magnifies much more the planet, but it, it keeps the, um, the details. Of course, it's a 6 inch with a, a 12 inch or an 18 inch or a 10 inch. It's much better, the detail. Look, the moon with, uh, with this 5X and the 6 inch uh, Dobsonian. And here again, you can see, we can zoom and still keep the details, which is fine. Very sharp. So it's uh, a, good, um, a good choice for the ones that have a Virtuoso or a 6 inch Newtonian or uh, Dobsonian, doesn't matter. Uh, you know already that at least with this La Cirta uh, Barlow, it works fine. So if uh, you have a Barlow with, uh, with some quality, I will show you this one just to finish this. Hold on. This one is this one. This is the, the website from my sponsor, AstroArt. And it costs, this one costs, it has more quality, so it's, it's uh, more expensive. Uh, 191 euros. 
it's around the price 200 euros is the um, the average price of these uh, medium and quality barlows telex tenders from explore scientific from omegon also omegon i think it's the same um, long burn it's rebranded also i think zoomel also does this uh, rebranded from long burn it has high quality i like very much this this brand it was a surprise for uh, to me and um cheaper than this you have of course other brands but they are not uh, not so good and they are barlows okay a barlow is is better if you want to um, you can transform a 2x barlow not tel telex tender a barlow into a 3x for instance aparting it from from the camera or, or eyepiece the trade-off is that if you push too much more than two and a half x uh, almost three x but if you go three x and you push through the limits it will blur the image it lose quality and sharpness so the best thing is not to push too much let's go outside to to uncover the the dobsonian hold on a bit let me just watch the chat mazif hello cpm hello quasar astronomy how are you Samir, I have dew outside, but uh, it's protected. You can use Samir. Samir had a problem. I think it was with you. You can also use this blanket. It's a cheap blanket, very cheap. And you can use to protect it while the dog is cooling down. It will help to delay the inside uh, tube dew, dew formation, but uh, mainly it grabs all the dew that is outside and the, the, the tube, we, it will be uh, dry, completely dry, which is good. The tail rod, it protects the tail rod also. It's the first thing that uh, gives the sign of the dew. <laughs> Thanks. Marcin from Poland. Thank you. Rodriguez. Yes, I'm doing well for now. A bit scared, anxious, let's say anxious, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> so get ready, get ready for... Dobsonian Power. Power. The Dobsonian Power. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. How are you? Yes, I'll take care. Anthony, good evening. <coughs> yes, I remember you asked about the 5X. It's fine. Just for um, the planets. Just for the planets and the moon. I will try, though, with um, some planetary ne nebula. But not for now, because Barlow's usually with planetary nebula to do lucky imaging, they are good. They have very nice pictures. <laughs> yes, today, for the ones that just join us, we will be watching the double cluster on Perseus because it's uh, because of the moon. When we have the moon so so strong and so bright, a cluster is always a good um, a good object to watch within through an eyepiece or with a camera it's guaranteed because if i point to the um, to a nebula or galaxy it will be even besides it it is cloudy a bit cloudy it's thin clouds i will connect everything now poland hello Yes, Orion Nebula will be on target, but not just right now. It's too low yet. After my surgery, after I recover next week and so on, I don't know, I will start Mars. We will watch Mars, of course, and uh, the Orion Nebula. <coughs> Uh, 
Yes, there are there are some barlows that are made to um, to do that. For instance, the the bother ones, bother has one that does something like that. The thing is the the barlow, the barlow is they have two lenses. They are I think it's they are negative lenses. They stretch the image. But when you the focal extenders like this one this is a, a telecentric Barlow. They place two more uh, lenses, positive, uh, ne uh, positive lenses over the negative. So if you move the, the camera or the eyepiece, the image uh, doesn't change almost nothing or nothing. But with uh, the simple Barlow, it changes. One thing uh, the Barlow has in uh, in advantage in certain situations is the eye relief because this one the tele extenders don't sh doesn't change the eye relief it doesn't change the um, the size of the object neither the eye relief while the the, um, the barlows could be good if you have an eyepiece with uh, low eye relief and you need more to be comfortable watching with a barlow it uh, pulls out um, and also the um, the focal plane of course well good night Carlos uh, for visual uh, excellent uh, question I don't like it for visual look you can use it imagine I use almost uh, all the time the nine millimeters eyepiece if I place a 5x Barlow just divide nine nine let me see, 9 by 5. I will be with a 1.8 millimeters eyepiece with many lenses. Mm, no way, no way. No way to use that unless certain circumstances, crazy circumstances. You can use this kind of 5x Barlow's with a 25 millimeters plus eyepiece, for instance. It works well. I, I, I tried it with a 25 I have here. Uh, a nice one from GSO and it works well but you will get a five millimeters eyepiece but I have nine millimeters I have a three and a half okay I get a five millimeters eyepiece that I don't have but I will not use it I prefer because it's even better without so many lenses in the in the way of course I prefer to use directly eyepiece I like to use the Barlow's when I really need, for instance, I have 9mm and I have 25 I don't have uh, no eyepiece in the middle because I don't need, I place a 2x Barlow and the 25 will get me a 12 and a half so I get, I get a middle range with quality Ok, I go outside <laughs> Me too Puerto Rico, I love this, look People from all over the world. This is humans from wherever the country. It doesn't matter. Humans united. Not the stuff we listen every day. United. Humans are to be united for one good and positive purpose. Hold on. It doesn't matter the country. It doesn't matter the culture. And uh, it doesn't matter nothing. That's crap what people talk let's connect the old sky first for you to see Your sky. You see the cover? Let's decrease. Uh, it's windy now. This helps with the dew, but increase the gain. But uh, you see the wind. It it appears the wind now. 
it's not good for the the 12 inch the 12 inch is so sensitive to the wind well let's see what we can do it's the cover i have a magnet here for the cover to stay on place these are the pleiades for you to get in con into context and uh, the double cluster i think it's here because this is a bit of this is uh, cassiopeia this is cassiopeia the the second triangle of cassiopeia so it will be right here it's visible on naked eye it's a very nice cluster and then drum the should be here right at the top okay hold on And this is the blanket. It protects a lot. The, it's completely dry, the, the Dobson. Caps. Okay, now I will open another shark cap. I need to confirm 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 the um, the position of the cluster. It's been a, a year the last time I saw it. Okay. Now I open the 294. You see I'm opening two shark caps. For the ones that just joined, we are doing EAA, Electronically Assisted Astronomy, which is watching the sky with the help of a device. This case, in this case, the ZWO camera. This bluish is because of my light, don't worry. Uh, I'm using, I have to focus, I'm using a Sterizona Nexus to see what we can catch of the 
of the 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 star clusters. This is the telescope we are using today, the 12-inch Dobson telescope, over the equatorial platform to track the sky. Otherwise, the stars would run and the objects would run away from the field of view. Okay, first things first, focus the telescope. So what I did was, this is the remote I will use to, to focus this telescope as an autofocuser, which is very nice, very comfortable. And now with the remote, I will focus. It's the first thing we should do. Okay. You see the stair is on the Nexus, no coma. It's a very, it's a premium, a premium accessory. A premium Newton, Newtonian accessory. It's fine. I think it's fine. I, I don't know with the wind, the tracking to the north, the wind comes from north. So it will be hitting the, um, the front of the, the top of the tube. It's not good for the 12 inch, but hopefully it will stabilize. We'll see. Now let's see Stellarium, the application I use. It's a free application that I use on the desktop to, to watch the position of the objects. Stellarium. I need to remember the exact position. So I go here, okay, it's here, the cluster, let me place the bookmarks, my bookmarks, highlight, highlight bookmarks, I like to bookmark the, the, the main objects, it's here, double cluster. Okay, so I have to tell Rath. Tell Rath. Let's take this stuff off. Okay. So I go to Cassiopeia. I place the tell Rath like this. And I do to this star, this star, two triangles. I go to one vortice here. One, one tail rod, two tail rods, and then with the finer, as it is a double cluster, a, a large one, it's easy, it's easy to find then with a, with a finer. I strongly recommend every beginner that are watching us to watch, to try to watch one of the first objects, to watch if it's on site, of course. It's this double cluster. It's very easy to, to, to capture with an eyepiece and it's gorgeous. And remember, visually, the clusters have something special and magical that we don't have with the cameras, in my opinion. Okay, that's enough. Close to Larium and let's do the star hopping. Alexa, apaga streaming. Alexa, apaga streaming. Vale.
for the people that have the Obsonians. That I had to take the, um, the purse with the magnet. This is to balance the telescope. It's so almost vertical that I had to take it off. Now, the, um, the background, the bluish background, now it's not because of my lights. Now it's because of the moon. And the moon reflects in my windows and it will double the, the effect of the moon. I'm not sure where I am. Did you, saw, did you see the, the object I was sketching? The, it was a plane. So, as I don't, I'm not sure, I was telling the beginners to <laughs> it's easy to catch and it is. No, now is uh, a, day, a night that is uh, a bit weird because of the, the moon. And the clouds, we have some clouds. But they are thin. Now what I do... Is on Stellarium. I place over the cluster again. Control 1. This is a system, a free system that I use, a push to. You see, the telescope, over. It's not the telescope that is outside. The telescope outside doesn't move. It's manual. It's a virtual telescope. Now I will say to sharp cap to plate solve that is communicating with Stellarium. Plate solving. Look the stars. This is the wind. But I think we'll be okay. Still solving. Can't solve. First problem. Let's see again. Uh, I'm not. I'm not in the cluster. The double cluster. It's not the double cluster. The double cluster, it's here. Okay, double cluster. It's another cluster. The Perseus cluster. Control 1. That's why you didn't play it solve. My mistake, my mistake. Okay. Now it will. Play it solve. Again. Okay, succeed. Now let's see where we are. We are a bit down. I'm near the cluster. Okay, I will move it up. Hold on. Okay, that's it. One of them. Let's check. This bloated stars is because of the, um, the light of the moon. Now I close the door and my light. Now I close the door and the, the monitors stop uh, affecting the views, you see how important it is to protect from the light. Let's play it solve again, just to see what cluster it is. If it's the one in the bottom, I think it is, or the one at the top. It will tell us now, it's the one at the bottom, of course. I will try to, let's move, uh, change to the camera view. This is the camera with the, the stars on the Nexus. I will try to position the camera a bit more up 
to capture, to try to capture at least the most part of both clusters. You see? I think I saw the, them in the, um, in the finder. But it's cloudy. That's why also the, the stars are a bit bloated. But we can't do nothing about it. Hold on. You see, from the moment I close them... Oops. From the moment I close the, the curtains here, it cuts at least the light from the monitors, because I, sh I have uh, all the lights shut it off, except this one. Okay. And the stars get um, sharper. Now, we will live stack this. Let me try four seconds with the next. Okay. The clusters are to be stacked with uh, very low exposures. The maximum is this, four seconds. And maybe too much, I don't know. Now I will control the color. Ah. You see? This software is great. Now I do the auto stretch to pop the... Um, I manage the histogram a bit. It's a bit different. You see the, the glow of the moon? I will stretch it. You see, this gradient is because of the, the light of the moon. It's spreading because it uh, it's behind the telescope, but it it eats the, the window and reflects. So I have like two moons here at the same time. So we lower this mid level on the histogram to keep the background darker and move this one to the right. With the clusters we can move a bit more to the right than with Nebula. Let me check the filter. Why this is not working? I don't know. 7. I will remove the filter. This is not stacking. No. it's. Ignoring the... This is only one frame here. I should uh, uh, increase the, the filter, maybe. I don't know what's happening now. Another problem. I don't know what's happening. It's not live stacking. Let me... Could not align. Okay. When this happened, it, it could be because I'm using many stars, of course, it's two large clusters, open clusters. And it, it didn't align because of the number of the stars. I go here first to the alignment. I have this at 75. It's uh, small, but I I'm telling you, it's 75 stars, sensitivity, star detection. I will try first to lower this to see what happened to 50 and clear the stack it's ignoring mm. it's ignoring so and it's increasing the sensitivity 
by itself. Another problem. So what I will going to try is to lower the exposure to be faster. Hold on. Hold on. I will stop this. You see the, the star clusters require lower exposures. I will try to to second exposure. It's enough for, for star clusters. Let's see now. It's stacking. Yes, 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 yes. I will clear. Okay. Start from, from scratch. Auto color. Okay, background it's fine. Auto stretch. You see this is a problem with um, when you live stack or try to live stack the star clusters. Actually we are dealing with loads of problems today. Different ones. I like to, to show you because when you find those problems, when you are alone with your connection with the sky and the telescope if you see this that i'm doing your brain will remember and you will be more comfortable and more quiet without getting nervous solving your problem i will lower because of the gradient i will have to lower more Okay, let's see, the gradient is a bit reddish, let me try to lower the red, it helps you see, now I can push, as I lower it, the, the, the red color, it helps to, to cut the gradient, you see this reddish, reddish greenish. Hold on, let me keep it like this. This is overexposed, overstretched, just to control the colors. To get a, a balance. I prefer the blue. Okay. 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 And now I will unstretch. See? See? A bit more. Press one to the right, okay, and now, even cutting the red, we still have, as it is a color camera, this is a 294 MC, and cool it, it's not cool, we still can uh, have the colors in certain stars. This cluster, this large cluster, is younger then the player this the thing is I, I if i point to the player this today with the moon it will mess a lot with the the nebulosity is an emission nebula and uh, with a bluish tint it will mess a lot it, i don't like it but this cluster no this cluster we can manage and we can keep you see the color of the um, of some stars younger stars and uh, I think I remember that those two clusters are coming in our towards the earth at if I don't forget it's 39 kilometers per hour. Interesting, eh? Hey, let me see the chat while this is stack. We will not live stack too much. The clusters will only stack a bit. Actually, I will save as seen right now because the clusters will don't benefit unless there's some nebulosity or dust around that we want to make it pop. Hello Steven! Hello! 
Steven Kramer from San Diego. Yeah. Mazif, we will show now you remember me. In a while I will uh, show some community pictures also. Ah, today I forgot again when I was going to start hoping. Start hoping, hoping. Start hoping. Earthlings, that's it. <laughs> you understand me very well. Earthlings, we are all the same. The same crap. Look, <laughs> the next week, you see how, how, how nothing, how weak we are. Next week, me as a human, I can be very strong now, today, and doing stuff in my life. When I... I'll be laid down on the table of the surgery with the surgeons and uh, all the stuff there. Before the anesthesia, I will be nothing. I will be completely 100% in the hands of other people. <laughs> so imagine the universe. <laughs> we are nothing. It's very nice. It's very nice, Carlos. If you want a quality Barlow, the La Certa, La Certa is a good brand. I'm liking it. I will... I may ask the um, more stuff from La Certa to, to my sponsor, AstroArt, which I'm very thankful for. It's like part of the family. Hello from Poland, Lek. How are you? How do you feel? I feel okay. <laughs> I feel good when I'm with you all. Do you have a plan to take a photo? Ah, you, I saw the, that already. We will do the Orion Nebula. I have to skip this. Okay. San Sebastian. San Sebastian, Puerto Rico. Welcome. I will, I will, don't worry, you, we will have plenty of time to do that. The Earth Head Nebula and the, the Orion Nebula. You are always impatient, but you have to trust me. When it was Jupiter, Tiago, point to Jupiter, point to Jup Jupiter, and I said, hold on. Now we saw Jupiter a lot, and it will be the same with Mars. We will cover everything. Even the asteroid that is coming to Earth, blowing Earth. <laughs> Huge asteroid, no, in the news. Hide, run. <laughs> the Orion Nebula with the... Um, now that I have the, the Sterizon and X, which will be excellent. Maybe too large, but we could get a large vision of the trapezium. I imagined it years ago with a 10 inch Schmidt Kessgren. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Another target for any beginner to start, to blow their minds. But with the series on the Nexus, we will be capable to handle it. Uh, the clusters are better uh, to watch when it's moon, but the clusters are better to watch without moon, of course, with dark sky. But with the moon, it's the, the only option, even within the IPs. If I go outside now with the IPs, I can watch the moon, Mars, Jupiter, well, the planets, and um, clusters. Otherwise, it's... I don't like it. Well, and the Orion Nebula. <laughs> when it's going up in the sky. 
I believe the moon is eclipsing Neptune in the next few days. That will be cool to image. The next few few days, I will be knocked out. <laughs> I will be in the hospital. I will have to be there uh, for a while. It's a, a delicate uh, surgery, mine. And uh, we we will miss at least with these live streams the Uranus uh, opposition. But Uranus opposition, it's not so important because it will be so bright and it's not uh, required. Actually, it's better have it with less brightness for these uh, kind of telescopes. We can't see details of it. Let's check that of uh, Neptune. It's easy. You, we go to Stellarium. You see the live stacking? It's the same. It has already six, mi seven minutes stacking and it's the same. You win nothing with long exposures and... So let's see what our friend was talking about. Neptune with the moon. So we find Neptune first. Okay, near Jupiter, and now we move the time, we go to the future, and see what happened. Here is close to Jupiter, interesting. But the moon... Okay. Let's see a bit more. This... We are still are in November here. November... Where's the moon? Ah, the moon. Okay. This is when... December 1st. Wow, we have here Jupiter near... Okay, let's go a bit further in the future, in December. Hold on. Faster. Should be on Christmas. New moon. If someone enters now in the live stream, you will not understand this. We are trying to catch the day or the night that uh, Neptune is near the moon. It's near the moon, but it's not enough to capture. But you you talked about eclipse. Do you know the date? Tell me in the chat. Okay, let's let's Google it. I like to know those stuff. Tell me in the chat if you know if uh, the date of the eclipse. Let me Google it. Neptune eclipse moon. Eclipsed by moon. I don't see that information on Google. Pluto solar eclipses on Neptune. No. Oh, wait. I think it's this one. I'll hold on. No, this is in the past. It's an image. If you know the date, you tell me. 
CPM, I'm buying a Canon T5i. Well, good luck. I, if it's only for astrophotography, for uh, telescopes, uh, astrophotography, I will not buy a, a DSLR. I will go straight away to the astro camera. DSLRs are not the future in astrophotography. But if uh, you have already one, of course you use it. For height focal lengths, I got my Force SE, which is not that bad. No, it's not. It's a nice telescope, a decent telescope. It's 4 inch, okay. It's, it's a decent telescope. It's not that bad. You said it all. People that uh, think are thinking on, on buying telescopes for Christmas or something, if you are on a budget, the 6-inch Virtuoso or the 5-inch, they I think the 6-inch is already sold off. It's cheap, it's, it's cheap and, uh, and has it all, but you need a camera. Tracker like the Star Adventure is amazing, but they aren't really required. Yeah. No, don't misunderstand me. I still use my Canon and uh, I have no complaints for Esther. No, no, no. Of course you don't. What I'm saying is, if someone asks me... Two different questions. If someone asks me, Tiago, I got a telescope, I have a uh, DSLR. Do you think I should use it? Yes, 100%. Use the, the, the Canon and you will get nice, very nice pictures with that camera. If someone asks me, Tiago, I have a telescope, but I don't have any camera. I'm thinking in buying a camera. Do you recommend me a DSLR? No, I recommend you to buy a, an Astro camera, a ZW01, and uh, that if if possible, to match your uh, pixel scale with your telescope. For the, the Dobsonians, the medium Dobsonians like we are using today, the 12 inch, the 294, it's the, the best r relation, the, the pixel size, the pixel scale uh, with the pixel size, and the field of view. You see now, the 294 has a large field of view, but even only with the 294 I couldn't catch capture this large. I I have to use a a focal reducer, comma corrector that I'm using, that, which is the Sterizona Nexus. It's a premium, a premium tool. It costs about 500 bucks, I think. But it's a premium tool for someone that really likes the Newtonians and use the Opsonians. So the money you will going to spend on, unless you are uh, you like a lot to do photograph photography. Jacob. I'm having issues with the connection. I'm having issues with the connection. Hopefully you are listening now. Where are you from? Me, Jacob. I'm from Portugal. Uh, by the way, we are watching the double cluster, star cluster in Perseus. And uh, from Portugal, Algarve, Portugal, south of Portugal. Portugal is on south of Europe. And uh, 37 latitude. 
We will not see the s the moon eclipse here. Also, whoa, it's a shame. Europe is is not going to to watch the 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 moon eclipse. Yes, it's wonderful and it's easy to to watch with a long focal length. <laughs> you must if. As if I don't even own an IP, so I appreciate these sessions. You are, um, at least this is how I see you. Um, you got that feeling a bit towards the, the astrophotography. You like, we can see that you like. Actually, you sent me very nice pictures. Hello, no, no. Hopefully you have you having good weather now. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, sometimes we capture comets here, uh, comets meteors. Let me just place here just in case the other night we captured one just in case you see one then I I have the record of it it's that or the AP7 or both. I think they are more than one. Yeah. Actually, Ray, the moon and Jupiter looked good last night, one right above the other. The other. Actually, I, I, I've noticed that I was outside. Outside it was everything wet and uh, a bit more cloudy but uh, we could see the the moon and jupiter this is not stacking now you see the fi 15 minutes stacking and it's completely the same exactly the same of the first uh, first minute or two two or three minutes is enough to a star cluster ah okay I uh, probably not here. Cloudy, po hello, Adam. Cloudy pollen. Greetings to to pl pollen. Ah, the date here. Close to the moon on twenty-five, uh, two thousand thirty-four. <laughs> two thousand thirty-four. Okay. Okay, we meet you there. Hey, Reiner. <laughs> we will. Don't forget. Uranus will be... Uh, of course, Uranus. Okay, okay, okay. You, it was a mistake, so. The night of the moon eclipse next week. Oh, next week. I don't want to remember next week. You should try it. I will be knocked out. Ray. I started with my Sony DSLR, then went to ZWO 294MC Pro. A uh, good camera. Of course, it, it, that's a natural uh, progression. To start with the DSLR because you have it, and then move to. Often people move to to a, an astro camera. They start doing astrophotography, they level up, they keep leveling up, and they then they want to to have good result, better results, which w comparing both cameras. The Astro camera, the ZWO, it's it's better to to astrophotography. Yes, Masif, it's very nice. I have the uncooled because here 
we don't suffer too much and I do short exposures but for you as if uh, you you are an artist, <laughs> of course, Madzif is an artist. Madzif is an artist. Actually, now uh, we will see the... Community Pictures. Let's watch some community pictures because they are accumulating here. You keep sending me. I w I may not uh, answer faster, fast the next week, of course. But uh, the email keeps uh, quiet here. It's my connection. Okay. We have the the older ones first by date. Okay, we have Elder with uh, this telescope, hold on. Yes, you are watching it. This is the SkyMax 127 with a DSLR. Okay. Where is it? Ah. And it's Jupiter with the moons. Three moons here. Let me see if we can see the fourth. No. This is Jupiter with this telescope. Uh, Mac, I think. Elder is not here today. This is Jupiter, for you to have an idea. Okay. Now. Yes, this is a Mac. Oh. From Skywatcher. We have from Astronomo with a mid LX200 F10 Classic with a 294 camera from Altair at F10. This is Uranus. Uranus is very hard to... Um, you see, that's why we don't need uh, the opposition because it's too bright. Uranus, 8th of October 2022, with the LX210 inch classic. Astronomy Space. Astronomy has a, a web site of astronomy. Astronomy Space. Now, hold on. What's happening here? Okay. Now, again, Helder with a six inch Newt Newtonian. Yes, six inch. It's uh, Elder Green Chu. This is Jupiter. This one has the four moons here. Four moons. And we can see the details of the bands. Usually, that's why Jupiter is a nice planet and, and Saturn also. For anybody to, um, to image or try it. Because we at least can see the bands and hear the poles. It's very nice. And here is a much better one with the red spot over here. With a transit. This is a shadow of a moon. Let me see if it uh, has here. Skywatcher 150 PDS 750 millimeters with uh, the focal extender 3x of Explore Scientific. Ah, 
Now I remember he bought the focal extender, a 3x. See? With a 3x and this telescope, we can get m more details, even more details. This is from Elder. And now, uh, mm, astronomer we saw already. And now Michael with the Skywatcher 200P Dobson and Telescope. He's trying, it's the first time. It's Jupiter, nice try. Nice try, Michael, don't give up. Everything will be better. I want to tell you something, it's very important. This is important. Alexa. Vale. Keep sending me pictures. People that are uh, knowing this community picture section right now should think one thing. This doesn't matter if you feel your pictures you are at the beginning and your pictures are not so good as others' pictures or some pi someone pictures. That doesn't matter at all. Because every one of us, me included, started that way, trying to get better and the, the next time you will be more comfortable to show the your pictures. Nobody see your face here uh, uh, so you don't have to be ashamed. And this takes time and each person has its time. If you have more time available to invest and invest it in, uh, in your telescope and uh, imaging, of course you will get faster to the goals that someone that works all the week, it uh, sometimes at some weekends, Saturdays, have time to, to grab the telescope. I have members here that don't have time in their lives. So when they have, they, they take more time to get to reach certain goals. It's like me, my channel, it's a small channel yet. And I can't expect, I can't compare with a big channel. It's, it's silly because they have their time and I'm having my time and I'm still at the beginning of, of, uh, of the channel. We are together with you. We are building a community. We are building a, a fresh uh, and positive channel around the Dobsonian and, and other stuff with telescopes. 12 people. The goal is to attract people, new people, fresh people to astronomy and also to help the people with EAA that already have some skills but want to go into EAA. You can have that thing that is from the past obsolete to say I have the telescope for 30 years ago or 40 years ago that I have telescopes. I born with a telescope. I, my dad gave me a telescope uh, when I was five. That doesn't matter because things change. And the important and sometimes you can be 10 years without using a telescope and uh, me w in one year i bet that i in one year i use more telescope the telescope that many other people with uh, with more years with telescopes so that is all relative so you don't have to feel ashamed or feel uh, intimidated by nothing because we we will not roast your pictures here we uh, like to compare different telescopes to people that uh, want to buy a telescope to to know what can expect and for you that you have a, a kind of telescope you see here a, a good picture so you can see that it's better than yours so you can see if he, he can do it I can do it also. So my goal will be at least a picture like the one that Tiago is showing from other other member. Okay. <laughs> this is important. An important message. I thought it was a meteor, but it was a plane. So Michael, thank you very much. And keep keep sending me 
you will be happy to, to see the results in a while. I will stop the platform. It should be over now. I don't want to push it. Just hold on. Because the platforms, when they are over, the they get to the end, we should stop them. It's better. So let me see. I think we will see them all. Michael, it's done. And we have to... Ah, uh, okay. This, I will tell only the username, is Endagape. Endagape. This is a, it's funny, this is a Star Sense 10 inch from Celestron, which is a, a recent, a new way to, to sell the Dobsonians. They, they improved with this, for instance, this handle here, and uh, they have more weight at the back. They balance different, which is good, because all of us, you can see all of us, put weight in the, in the front of the telescope. They count on that, they were, they were smart on that. And, uh, and more things, it has a, a push to system, you can use it here with a smartphone, which to me is not uh, very important, but you can use. And you can, w like any Dobsonian, to take off the... the optical tube assembly, the, the, the tube, and uh, attach it to a mount, an equatorial mount. I think this, this one is the EQ6, maybe, no? So he, he can use like this, he can do astrophotography with better quality, because it allows to have longer exposures. With the equatorial platform, we can't do longer exposures, because not only uh, because of the rotation, but also uh, because of the poor tracking an equatorial platform uh, as comparing to, to an equatorial mount, like this one. And look at the pictures. This one it, it was with a dob. It was not with an equatorial mount. You see? I think this is the Needle Galaxy. We can see a small galaxy. The Dobsonian is very nice. A small look, a small galaxy. But if we zoom, we can see it very nice. Here we don't know what it is. Maybe some galaxies, but they are distorted. But here I think it's the me the needle galaxy. I'm not sure. Outer limits galaxy. He said. I don't remember. So this was with the Dobsonian telescope. And this w one, you see the difference, is with a Newtonian. So we used Flaming and Tadpole SHO Final. It's the name of the file. So it's the flame. This is the, um, the flame. Flame node, it's not the flame. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check the name of the... Um, no, he didn't place the name. Flaming and Tadpole. Could be. Ah, yes, the, the Astro Bean details. Hold on. This is beautiful. You see the, the stars get uh, sharper. Oh, it's here. Let me see. Dead Poles and Flaming Star Nebula. Okay, okay. With a ZWO to 94MC Pro. He guides, use a, a, a guider. An Optolong L Ultimate filter. Adobe Photoshop, Topaz. To do the post-processing. It's beautiful. 
it's beautiful. You see the Newtonian can um, can do a, a, an astrophotography job similar to the to the refractors. Actually, I in some cases I prefer the Newtonian. It depends. The, in the large field, the refractors are very good if you have a nice setup. But it's so expensive that this is the um, Wizard Nebula, of course. The wizard, it's here, the head, here, you see, this is the head, the hat of the the wizard, and the, the nose here. Here, the hands, right hand and the left hand, it's like sitting. If we do like this, it's like sitting, you see, the wizard, that's why they call the wizard. And of course, with a Newtonian, with longer exposures and... and um, much more frames captured. He can get details here of this nebulosity and details here. That with the Dobsonian, I can do, do this nebula. Actually, I have a nice picture of it from EAA. Mm, not using all the night. This is to people that like astrophotography, and we don't. Um, we accept that here in the channel. We are not radical with the uh, I like to be balancing the time here is uh, almost midnight it's 20 past 11 p.m. I cocked a meteor I, I think it was um could be I think it was a uh, a plane but you you will make me force me to watch the replay now <laughs> Yeah, but it should be... It was down here. I think it's... Um, it, it was a plane, but... We have Taurus. We have the Taurids. We have the Taurids, so... We have Taurus. I think it's... Uh, player this... It's here. This is the zone. So, we can see meteors here. I was hoping to, to catch some. I will, I will watch the replay. Another one. You just got a meteor outside. <laughs> Good. Good. I will watch the replay. If I have always this camera, the All Sky camera during the live streams, it's likely that we um, we catch some meteors. It will be fun. I, that's why I like to have the this um, this camera outside and to get used to do some use of the 224 camera. This is a 224 from ZWO, which I mostly use only for this. Yeah, it was a Mac. Macs are so interesting to me. Monster focal lengths, compact size. Yes, they have a good focal, a long focal length. But you, you use a reducer if you need. Type the timestamp. Okay, okay, let me see. Mm, I can't now, but uh, but I will remember, more or less. Hello, gentlemen. Yes, a, a good weapon. The two hundred, the two hundred. It's a good weapon. Yeah. I find interesting. I find planetary imaging very difficult. I admire all who do it, it in any capacity. You see Mazif. Mazif, which is an artist, as someone said here. Uh, we, you saw the, the pictures. I know I have uh, here the, uh, the pictures. I still have the pictures here of Mazif. And it, it's an artist. Uh, <laughs> I have here pictures from Azif without a telescope, with only a 135mm camera lens, a Ronicon F2. It's an artist. The Pleiades. Look at the Pleiades. And, and look at the... Um, The contrast. The contrast of this image with this setup and the the message Mazif is 
is sending to us. I find planetary imaging very difficult and I admire, admire all who do it in any capacity. So it has, uh, he has uh, um, a problem with, uh, with planetary imaging, but he, by the other hand, is very good in astrophotography in large fields. You see the we can be good. It's like me. I'm good in with the sun and, and stuff, but I'm not good post processing, for instance, because I don't invest time on it because I don't want. And probably, not probably. I'm sure. I'm 100% sure that if Mazif invest time one of these days next summer, le let it for the next summer if you want. But if you invest time in the technique of lucky imaging to capture the planets, it's easy. Well, it's easy after you learn. But you will like it. I think you will like it, Mazif. But it's good. Then you have more things to, to explore and discover. That's the beauty of it. Shalom and I, uh, either. You keep trying because it's. We will do again with Mars. Pay attention when I come back from the surgery. With Mars. The Mars, the planet, and um, if you st if you keep watching this, you will want to try it. We help each other. No pictures are bad. Only at different level. Of course, a uh, spot on, spot on. I am one with no, not much time or weather. Keep trying. Another uh, factor, the weather. You may have time. You may have willing. You may have setups. You may have money to buy more stuff. You may have uh, the skills, the, the ability to do the, the stuff. But you live in a place that is always bad weather. You're done. <laughs> you have to wait. Of course. Of course. By the way, let me show you the other picture I have here. This is the elephant trunk. It's here, the elephant trunk from Azif. With, a cam with a, the same setup, but instead of the, the telescope, he placed uh, uh, that, that lens. 135. And it's beautiful. It's a nice thing to explore the the ones that want to to explore this sky imaging it's very beautiful i like it actually i didn't know it was uh, it surprised me for uh, in a positive way <laughs> dobsonian power, power. Well, this is not the Dobsonian power, hold on. This is the... Well, the feeling is, the philosophy is the Dobsonian power. Uh, the, that Mazif has. I saw a meteor on your Al Sky earlier on another one. I will have to watch the replay. Maybe in the hospital. I will take with me... I will take with me the... Um, What's the name of it? I have a, a small device from uh, from Amazon to watch the um, what's the name of it to to connect to the television to watch Netflix and that stuff and YouTube. Ten inch on an EQ six, yes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they need to. Good, good, good. They say they said it couldn't work. It works. <laughs> Don't listen to that, people. That's one thing that. That's why one of the reasons I don't uh, mess with social networks and. You ask something, or so you see someone uh, making a question. Can I do this, this, and this? Blah, blah, blah. And instinctively, 
many negative people no you can't no you can't whatever the the, the matter and if you you are distracted and you don't filter that which many people doesn't don't do it they simply accept it okay i can't and they are losing maybe a huge opportunity to enjoy the sky in another way it's like the the question you made me can i use the earlier can i use the 5x barlow with the um, visually yes you can with the 25 millimeters but if you use it on a 10 millimeters probably it will blown up your sky your uh, views it's the same thing but it's not impossible in a dark sky yes i also put my 10 inch dob on my cgxl mount works very well you have lots of of toys to to play with <laughs> ray flaming star thanks Ted Pulse. yes you know it's a, a super large target so i don't capture it with uh, the sun and i forget it it's beautiful beautiful and thank you uh, it it works because you send me pictures keep sending me it will be i always say it will be funny in a year for instance because i will keep uh, as long as i i'm healthy and alive i will keep uh, uh, doing the channel uh, Growing the channel. This is for life. I like it. So imagine in a in a year from now, you will watch this replay because I don't delete them, and you will compare. And it's funny. I did it with me, with myself, and it's funny. Have to get a dual narrow band filter to look so cool, Jello man. Yes, those narrow bands to push that. That nebula. I have so many dual band filters. I think the IDAS NBZ is my favorite. It's a good filter from what I heard and see. Actually, from what I see, I, I judge from what the pictures I see. And not only one or two, many of them. After watching many pictures with a, a certain filter, I can have uh, my own conclusion with my own head and with the setups. Of course, Omar. The Dobs Dobsonian power. power. It is the power of the Dobsonian. In the Dobsonian power channel, everything keeps the same. Only the brand has changed and the email. Before the plane, ah, okay, okay, I will watch the replay. I will capture it and place it again in a short format or something. I don't get many views with it, but Dobson and Spirit, that's it. Fire TV, is that, gentlemen, thank you. Fire TV, I have a Fire TV with, uh, for the televisions that I have, the old, the older ones that uh, don't have the... Um, that they are not smart TVs. I use the fire stick. Yes, the fire stick. I will take one to the hospital. They have at the hospital, uh, but I like to... I They don't have Netflix. They have YouTube and they have smart TV. But I have Netflix and Amazon Prime and so on. And I I have the the, the comfort... I have my subscription list on the YouTube, which I like to, to follow, to track. The play of this was 12 hours worth of exposure. 12 hours. This picture, Mazif, of course, but it's beautiful. You see, 12 hours. I will not, I don't know the future, but I will not do 12 hours, I think. Worth of exposure and the elephant trunk was seven and a half hours. Amazing. 
I wonder if you in astrophotography I wonder if you are addicted to the um, to the the time I mean today 12 hours tomorrow I will try another 12 and and uh, stack it or uh, to keep pushing the <laughs> to the limits I I wonder that I bet you are no because I see people sometimes I longer exposure longer exposure A tablet, yes. I will take my tablet also, of course. It's a private hospital, I will be fine. It's like an hotel, but for health. Here in Portugal, the, the health system, I don't know if in other countries is like that. The, the public systems should be better than the private one, or at least equal, but it's not. Unfortunately, everything in uh, in public. I, well, I know in France and uh, other countries, Spain, they take time, and the private is better. Yeah, they 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 charge money. When you think about it, it's actually scary. Humanity got to where we are at because of people that went against the norms and w wanted to find out for themselves people are afraid to go outside the box so true that's a true like a, a rock that's it uh, you remember the, the the most popular case it's galileo galilei that had to to submit to the system to keep the uh, to keep alive <laughs> and i think they saved galileo because of uh, taking profit uh, benefiting of uh, his knowledge but in a room a golden room well done Mazif. i love capturing them happy to share my passion and learn as i go Share it, share it with us. I didn't know that this this lens, 100, uh, 135 millimeters lens. It's incredible. Dobsonian power. power. Of course. Head off. Ah, like this. I think in all countries the private hospitals are better. I think too. One hundred thirty-five. This is a bit outside the, the conversation. Bruno, if you got the money or if you got the insurance in our country, people prefer to spend when they win a, a they win a, a bit of money, they prefer to spend in a in a new car or in stuff like that and travel a new in holidays. Rather, the, but you ask them and they don't have a, a good insurance, uh, medical care. That's also a problem. But yes, if you got the money, you're right. Uh, because if you are poor, completely poor, you are done. And that 
that should not happen. Maybe in the future. I hope the, the humanity fix that. We still have to have hope in humanity. Even with all those jerks that we we see every day, almost. <laughs> Just forget them and we, we have to have hope. Because there's very, very nice people in the world. But uh, we, unfortunately, there's others that it's the good and, and, the, and the bad, the black matter and the gravity. Well, thank you very much. I don't know if I will be capable in the next Saturday. I will post in the community members um, wh how I, am I. They will be the first to know, of course. And I think I will not post in the public uh, community tab because it's outside the not because i'm ashamed because i i tell you all the truth no? it's my life so I, I don't have any problem to do that i just don't uh, tell things here private things that i think that may mm, damage or may interfere with my my family or something that i my kids especially but all the rest about me, I don't have a shame to to tell the things. This is what I. This is what you see is what you get. Thank you very much, Mazif. Best wishes for you also, um, and uh, hopefully I will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Let's leave it like this. I'll be back. Bye bye. Thank you for being here. I love you all.